In part two of Mulligan, Matty meets new threats to the presidency because his cabinet tries to make the latter society viable. The series is streaming on Netflix. Matty and the others try to get the cruise members back to shore, but they claim to be happy partying on the ship. Lamar wants to land them because most of the travelers are his base and it would help him gain control if the vote is held. Ja wants to know if they met his yacht at sea, while Lucy goes on board to defeat them. Farah wants to find a radio to locate the TOD, and Axitrax tells her the ship has a radio. More and more people are going on a cruise because they are not satisfied with life on land, leaving behind Maddie, Lamar, and Jeremy. They decide to rename England as King Jeremy. Lucy and Zhao realize that there is something strange with the passengers on the ship. They have a funny police force that catches anyone who refuses to party and puts them in jail. Sheila, the event coordinator, killed the captain just so people could celebrate. The people of Earth work together to escape and burn the cruise ship. Lamar, Lucy and Simon take it hard and fall into a depressing funk. Matty tries to cheer them up, but they realize he's been suppressing his feelings for years. Farah looks for TOD and assumes the robot has lost its mind. He is ready to shoot him, but finds him in an unexpected state. He is sad and wants to remember his life before becoming a robot, so Farah agrees to help him. Matty learns that presidents have been assassinated before in history, so he tries to win people over by finding out what they like. Farah feels like she's being cocky with TOD, and Lucy helps her realize that she doesn't need to worry so much. When the heatwave hits, Farah wants to run the water pumps and keep the DC from flooding, but Lucy wants power for the air conditioners. They approach the problem in different ways and learn to appreciate each other's strengths. Lamar visits the beach with his mother and Axitrax escapes. He begins a relationship with Lamar's mother and helps him uncover some issues of contention. The vegetables are ready to be harvested, but Zhao starts a campaign calling them dangerous to get coverage. Matty becomes furious with the only surviving plumber and has to resign his position as president, but learns a valuable lesson when Lamar and Lucy put him back in charge. Farah is attracted to Simon's submissive nature and asks Jeremy for help. He realizes that he likes Farah and comes up with a plan to get back together with her. Zhao discovers cases of placebo pills being used and starts his own pharmaceutical company to profit from them. They exploit Maddie's gullibility until their plan is revealed to everyone. Lamar gets divorced and his mother tells him to leave politics for good. Zhao gets him to appear on his version of SNL, but he can't overcome his problems and leaves. If Maddie and Jeremy's relationship is strained, a visit to the peace talks at Camp David is recommended. Farah is ready to ask Simon out, but she finds him dating someone. He tries to get them on the third wheel, but to no avail. Jeremy and Maddie make up, but in a big moment, Jeremy dumps Maddie because Farah is alone and emotionally vulnerable. He sleeps with her, but she immediately thinks it's a bad idea and doesn't want to do it again. Axitrax meets Bob Zorb, the sole survivor of the alien attack on Camp David. He tells her to come to DC so they can come up with their plan. With Lamar fired and Simon staying with his new lover, most of Maddie's office is gone. Farah also has to leave when Jeremy sends out the invitations to their wedding. Maddie is angry that he will send him away. That leaves Maddie and Lucy just doing chores and struggling to keep up. Lucy wants to come up with a good idea, but Maddie wants to do something big that will make him important again. Farah goes to the British Embassy to tell Jeremy that she will not marry him. Yeah. He relents but allows her to work in the lab. Farah can do a lot of work and set up an alternate power source for the embassy. Meanwhile, the power goes out everywhere else and people start leaving Maddie and Lucy behind to start their own country. Axitrax has grown to like Earth, but he has to pretend he hates it there because of Bob Zorb. Bob Zorb says they should mate and create their own army to conquer the world. Bob Zorb notices that Lamar is wallowing in self-pity and takes him back to torture him, but they end up bonding. Lamar feels that Cardi B's society is very similar to the conservative society that Lamar wants in America. He agrees to support them in their plan to end humanity. Farah agrees to marry Jeremy out of convenience because Jeremy doesn't believe marriage should be emotional. Simon discovers the invitation and wants to stop it so he and Farah can be together again. Axitrax takes the fertilized eggs to Maddie and tells him about the plan he made with Bob Zor. He agrees to destroy the eggs as long as Maddie kills the Bob Zor, but Maddie encounters the Bob Zor and mistakes him for the Axitrax, revealing the whole plan. Thanks to
to his battle armor, Bobzorg learns that humans are not for him and that the church where the wedding is taking place is a death trap. The wedding begins and Simon rushes in to stop it, but Bobzorg shows up with Lamar's support. The alien goes on a rampage yeah. and kills many people. He tells Axitrax that he is leaving him for last when Lucy and Maddie are back together against the aliens. Axitrax Devis has to think about the egg that he left behind so he being a father could fulfill his goal. Like this